Alright, so what I want to look at now is a couple of different ways that we can go about modelling our blend shapes. And the two ways that we're going to be looking at are using wire deformers and clusters. So the first one that we're going to look at is a cluster. And this is a simple case of selecting the vertices that we want to move. So I'm going to make a careful selection around the brow area here, making sure that I don't have any vertices selected on the back or on the inside that I don't want. And as you can see, I can go ahead and I can just move this up. But what that's done is it's created quite a harsh transition where it's been moved. All right. So what I'm going to do instead is with these selected, I'm going to go up to create deformers and create myself a cluster. And what you'll get is a little C just to let you know that that selection has now been turned into a cluster. And what that's going to allow us to do is just go back and reselect those vertices at any point and we can go ahead and rotate them as well. But where the real use of a cluster comes in is the fact that we can edit these to soften off the effect that we have. For example, if I was to go ahead and just move this up and rotate it round and then I'm going to go ahead, select the geometry and jump in to the edit deformer menu and go down to the paint cluster weights tool. So again, this is very similar to when we're painting weights on a rigged character. So in order to make this look a little bit more natural, I can simply go ahead, select my smooth operation, and flood that a few times. And it also allows me to go in and add weight where I think I need it. The next thing that I want to look at are wire deformers. And these, in my opinion, are probably the most useful of the alternate methods of making blend shapes. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to go ahead and create myself a NURBS circle. I'm just going to position that in front of the blend shape's mouth. Let's just zero off some of those rotations. Jump into our front view. We'll just position that like so. And what you want to do with a wire deformer is set up a curve that's very very close to your mesh and we can adjust the shape of that to more closely match the shape of our character's mouth and what this is going to do is it's going to give us the influence over the area that the curve is in. So to demonstrate what that means if I go ahead and go into create deformers down to the wire tool the first thing I need to do is select my geometry and press enter on the keyboard and then I have to select my curve, okay, and then hit enter again. And now, if I go ahead and grab some of these verts, you can see that it starts to affect the geometry behind it. And it gives you a very natural look to the deformation, and it's also very, very quick. So you can see how quickly we can go ahead and create a shape here. The same paint weight editing options are available for the wire deformers. We simply have to select our mesh, go into Edit Deformers, Paint Wire Tool. Now, what you'll notice is that the whole character goes white. Now, my recommended workflow for adjusting the influence of your wire deformer is to first go ahead and choose the paint operation replace with a value of zero and flood that. And what that'll do is it'll remove all the influence from your character. Then, going back in with the Add Brush, with a value of about 0.5, you can just go back in and start to paint in the area that you want it to affect. And this just allows you to create a far more natural effect. Alright, so that's a couple of different ways to model your blend shapes. In the next lesson, we're going to be looking at how to add blend shapes in to a pre-rigged character.